What's up guys, this is Dim, and today we're going to do a video focusing on how to set your trade skill master to post and cancel on the auction house. Alright, so a lot of my crafting videos, or actually all of them, actually focus essentially on posting and canceling auctions. And I realized that I never really went into how to set up a post group. So what, I am, what I'm doing is I'm actually on my inscription scribe alt. So anything that I make from inscription goes to this character. And as you've seen in previous videos, he's or she's equipped with endless pockets and a backpack. So it's pretty much as much space as possible because inscription does take up a lot of space. So I want to show you how I get my posting and canceling done uh, relatively automated through Trade Skill Master. So first we're going to go open up Treats Go Master, which is kind of our bread and butter for everything. Okay, so when I go into my Inscription Crafts menu, this is a group that I created that involves everything that becomes a final crafted product of Inscription. So that's glyphs and shoulder inscriptions. Uh, you'll see I have three modules enabled. The mailing one is what sets the Inscription is to automatically mail the stuff to my bank alt. Crafting is what helps restock or keep my stock of glyphs uh, current. And sell is what we're going to be talking about here. So I'm going to go into the view operations option here. And again, you can create this via a new operation if you don't have one already. Now, the main one that you're worried about is post. So I like to post for 24 hours. It's not much difference in cost. And quite frankly, we're going to probably cancel it anyway. But if you don't get around, at least it'll linger. And it's better to have it on the auction house than to have it in your mailbox. So... Personally, I have everything set to a post cap of two. This is done with inscription because otherwise it just it will become too much to handle. Plus, you're very rarely going to sell two of the same glyph during your post and cancel scan. Stack size, make sure you keep that as one. Nobody wants to buy two glyphs of anti-magic shell. And keep quantity zero. That means that you require to have, you want to keep one in your bag at all times. If I did that, I would literally have no bag space at all. Now for me, I pay four gold, actually usually less than four gold per ink uh, through my crafting or through my server. So uh, the absolute maximum cost for me that I will ever do is 12 gold per glyph. So that's why I actually have my minimum price set to 15 gold because realistically, I actually spend about three, usually about three gold or so per ink times three, and that'll bring about 12 gold. Now, the reason why I did this is to kind of increase the amount of posts, because quite frankly, even if I do post this, if, if one I have in stock does drop to 15 gold, I'm still making a 25% profit. And the maximum price, of course, is 1,000 gold, which it'll never get to. And what I do is I set my normal price to 200 gold. What that means is that if there's a glyph that is not posted at all, it will default to 200 gold which I find is kind of a, uh, a reasonable price. There's some glyphs on this server that I have sold for over 300 gold. And the reason, the way it'll go to that is if somebody posts at 350, say if their normal price is 350, I'll undercut them at 349. So uh, it will post higher, but my normal price that I feel comfortable doing is 200 gold. And those are my settings for inscription and they work out really well. Inscription is obviously my, um, my much better, um, is my best money-making uh, profession, but it does take the most amount of time. Now, uh, I also have a cancel setting here that I want to keep zero posted if, when I do my cancel scan, if somebody posted higher, for whatever reason, if they didn't, for whatever reason, didn't buy the lowest priced scan, uh, auction of mine, this will actually cancel and repost if there's at least one gold different. So everything else I keep uh, pretty much on defaults. And I have no relationship ties. I have them do this all to themselves. But this is my settings for inscription. So I'll go ahead and show you what I do with the post scan. Uh, I know I've done this before. However, um, the one thing that is key that I didn't have in my previous videos was the macro. The macro is enormously helpful. And what I like to do here is I have a macro created with TSM. And I went into... Uh, module operations, and then under auctioning, the options. What this will do is this will create a, uh, a mouse wheel macro. Now, this does not work if you're using Bartender, like I am here. So I actually had to, uh, I use this part here. However, the modifiers for control actually don't necessarily work 
with Bartender. So what I actually did was what you really care about here is getting the macro created. Once the macro is created, uh, which you could see on my right hand side, this little green box here, this is the key thing that you want created. You want the actual macro done. So it's actually just click TSM auction cancel, click TSM post. I put it over here so it's kind of out of the way. And I put a key bind to it, which is my mouse wheel down. So uh, control mouse wheel down. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and scan the auction house for anything to cancel. Now I do have a bunch of auctions up, so there's probably a good chance that something will be canceled, cancelable. Now I, I did do the post not too long ago, but I, I'm doing it again now to uh, for the sake of the video. So there may not be a full, you know, 190 some cancel auctions but if you let it run you will get that many um typically i have about 260 different glyphs that i put up so or i'm sorry uh it's about 130 140 glyphs times two so 260 total ones and as you can see i only have six to cancel so what you do is you click in the one area to make sure that this is the focus and i'll just hit control and mouse wheel instead of having to hit cancel 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 that's all I have to do now with my post scan. It's going to take all the items that I have in my backpacks and see what we have. Now, I made a whole bunch of glyphs just now, uh, part of my restock. So you can see that they're flashing with Addy Bags. There is a video on my channel about how to configure Addy Bags. Um, but yeah, this, is, this came from the automatic restock option that I have. And so these should all go... These may not go as they were in my bag previously, and they may, I think that a lot of these are below my threshold. So I have 58 to post, so I'm just gonna click to make it my focus, control, and I'm gonna do mouse wheel down. Now you can set this to anything you want, but mouse wheel is really key because uh, each click of the mouse wheel actually counts as a key press. So uh, if, if you do, you know, say control T or something, you have to smash T 58 times, whereas mouse wheel, you're just rolling the mouse wheel. So you definitely wanna make it something with the mouse wheel. And that's it guys that's how that's how i set up my trade skill master posting that's how i do my canceling the macro is key listen if you guys like it like comment and subscribe you can follow me on twitter at dim does and i'll catch you guys in the next video bye